Hey y'all, my name is Yesenia. I am a literacy and elementary facilitator at Girls in of Orange County and my pronouns are she and her and today I'm coming back to talk to you a little bit more about emotion. In my last video, we made emotions maps which reminded us that emotions are our body's reactions to situations. We need emotions in order for our bodies to know what it is feeling but sometimes it can be really hard to let other people know what we are feeling. So today in this video, we're gonna be making a project that will help other people know how we are feeling without having to say it out loud. We are gonna be making a DIY mood board. This is a fun project that you can do at home that will help you communicate your feelings to others. So for this mood board, we're gonna be focusing on five different emotions, fear, anger, joy, sadness, and disgust. These are five general emotions that people feel all the time. And there's also a Pixar movie based on these five emotions called Inside Out, which I would highly recommend because it talks about the importance of these emotions to our lives. You can do this project based on what you have at home. You can use regular paper and crayons, color pencils, or markers for the project. Today, I will be using what I have, which is watercolor paper and watercolor paints. These are the materials that I will be using for my project. You do not have to use these exact materials. Use what you have at home. You can use regular paper instead of watercolor paper and regular crayons, markers, color pencils instead of paints. The colors that you will be using for this project are yellow, purple, red, blue, and green. You will also need the different emotions that we talked about, fear, anger, disgust, sadness, and joy. So you can print these out in emojis like I did here or in inside out characters like I did there. The next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating five different sections on our piece of paper using the yellow, purple, red, blue, and green. So you're going to be choosing one color for each corner and then the fifth color will be going in the middle. It's okay if your colors overlap a little bit because in real life emotions tend to overlap and we sometimes feel different emotions at the same time. While we are painting, I want to take a few minutes to talk about emotions. Let's talk about three things to do to help you handle emotions. One, talk about what you are feeling when you are ready. This mood board is supposed to help you communicate your feelings to others when you aren't ready to say it out loud. But it is very important that you talk to someone about what you are feeling when you are ready. Two, find someone who you feel comfortable talking to. Talking to someone about what you are feeling can help you feel better and help you understand what is causing those feelings. You can talk to your parents, friends, siblings, or a therapist. 3. Try to figure out what you are feeling and why. Think of the emotion that you are feeling, then try to find why you are feeling that emotion. Knowing what is causing you to feel that emotion can help you move past it or allow others to help you. Once we are done coloring our five different sections with the five different colors, we are going to be setting this aside so that we can cut out our emotions that we have already printed out. Remember, these are the five emotions that we're going to be using for this project. You can print them out. You can use the inside out characters or different emojis, or there's also a third option of creating your own. So using these faces, you can create your own on a piece of paper and then cut them out in a circle shape so that you can create your own emojis. So like I said before, I will be using our inside out characters and for the next part, I will be cutting them out. I'll try to cut out all the white part as much as I can and I want you at home to do the same thing. So cut them out, try to make sure you get all the white parts off of them and if you're making your own, just kind of make a circle shape with your different emoji faces. I will be right back to show you what mine look like cut out. So here are my five different emotions. We have fear, and he's gonna be going on the purple. Sadness is gonna be going on the blue. Anger is gonna be going on the red. Disgust on the green, and joy on the yellow. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna bring back our poster where we had our different sections and what we're going to do is at the top you are going to write 
I am feeling. So I'm going to do that right now and then I'll come back in a second. All right, so now that you wrote I am feeling at the top, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be connecting our different emotions to the different colors. So joy will be yellow. So she will be on the yellow. And then we have disgust. She will be on the green. Anger will be on the red. Sadness on the blue. And fear on the purple. So this is going to help you let other people know how you are feeling. We're going to be doing a few more things before we finish this project. So we're going to be grabbing our baggie and we're going to be taping it to the bottom of the poster. That way you can save your emotions. So I went ahead and taped the bottom of my baggie to my poster. And then what we're going to do is we're going to be grabbing some tape again. And we're going to be rolling it up so that it's kind of like double-sided tape. And then we're going to put them on the back of our emotions like this. That way we can just stick our emotions on here. And whenever we need to move them, we can just take them off and put them where we want them to be. So here is my DIY mood board. So I put mine on my fridge that way other people can know what I am feeling. And so whenever you're feeling any emotions, I want you to come over to your mood board and move your different characters into the correct color. So if you're feeling a little bit of disgust, you're going to come and grab your disgust emotion and you're going to put her on the green. And that way you can let other people know what you are feeling. I hope you enjoyed doing this activity with me. Remember, you can upload your creations to Instagram. Please ask for information first and then tag us at girlsinc underscore OC or you can email them to me. Please subscribe to our YouTube page so that you get notified when we upload new videos. I'll see you in the next video and don't forget, you are strong, smart, and bold.